In a hot, sun-beaten climate, a shipping container can look like the perfect modern oasis, a sleek, cool refuge from the relentless heat. But this image is a dangerous illusion. If you make the common insulation mistakes, your container home isn't a cool retreat. It's a steel oven. It's a structure designed to absorb and radiate heat, creating an unbearably hot and stuffy interior that is not only uncomfortable, but incredibly expensive to cool. Today, we're revealing the three critical rules that will transform that potential oven into a cool, energy-efficient desert shelter. In a hot climate, your number one enemy is invisible and silent. Radiant heat gain. It's the same physics that makes a black car unbearable on a sunny day. The sun's powerful rays beat down on the dark metal roof and walls of your container, superheating the steel to temperatures you could cook on. That superheated steel then acts like a giant radiator, relentlessly beaming that heat inwards, through your walls and into your living space. Standard insulation can slow this process, but it can't stop it. Without a strategy to defeat radiant heat at the source, you'll be fighting a losing and very expensive battle with your air conditioner forever. This brings us to the first and often most cost-effective rule in the war against heat, you must create a reflective barrier. The smartest way to fight radiant heat is to stop it before it's ever absorbed by the steel. This is your first line of defense. The simplest and most powerful technique is to paint your container's roof and even its walls with a high-quality white or very light-colored elastomeric or ceramic-infused paint. White surfaces can reflect up to 85% of the sun's solar radiation, preventing the steel from ever getting superheated in the first place. It's a simple, low-cost step that can dramatically reduce the heat load on your home before you even install a single piece of insulation. The second rule is the core of a professional hot climate strategy, and it mirrors the best practice for the cold. You must insulate from the outside. By wrapping the exterior of your container in a thick layer of rigid foam insulation, you create a powerful thermal shield. This shield does one critical job. It completely separates the sun-baked steel from your interior living space. The steel shell can get as hot as it wants on the outside, but that intense heat is stopped dead by the exterior insulation and is never allowed to radiate inwards. This keeps the interior structure cool and stable, drastically reducing the amount of work your air conditioner has to do. You're not trying to cool a hot box, you're living inside a cool box that is protected from the hot shell outside. The final rule is to give your home a suit of breathable armor. Just like in cold climates, your exterior insulation needs protection. But in a hot climate, the strategy is even smarter. By building a vented facade, also known as a rain screen, you create an air gap between your final siding and the insulation. This gap becomes a natural cooling engine. As the sun heats the outer siding, the air in the gap gets hot and rises, pulling cooler air in from the bottom. This constant passive airflow, known as the chimney effect, actively carries away a huge amount of heat before it can ever even reach your insulation. It's a breathable suit of armor that not only protects your home, but also helps it to cool itself down, naturally and for free. So, the secret to a cool and comfortable container home in a scorching climate is a complete desert defense system built in three layers. First, the reflective barrier of a white roof to bounce the sun's energy away. Second, the thick exterior shield of insulation to stop any absorbed heat in its tracks. And third, the breathable outer armor of a vented facade to carry excess heat away. By building this three-layer system, you are no longer fighting the sun. You are working with physics to defeat it. 
you transform a potential steel oven into a cool, efficient, and perfectly engineered desert oasis. If these three rules for hot climates have given you a clear plan to build a cool oasis, show your support with a like and subscribe for more essential guides from the Builder's Rulebook. We've covered how to keep the heat out, but what about creating a cool breeze inside? For our curated list of the best DIY-friendly air conditioners, reflective window films, and essential gear to survive the summer, point your phone's camera at the QR code on the screen now or use the link in the description. Now we want to hear from you. We've conquered the heat, but what's your biggest concern about a container project? Is it the cost, the permits, or something else entirely? Let us know in the comments what challenge you want us to tackle next.